Hello and welcome to this recording. My name is Sarah J. Sanderson and I work as a liberation coach. And the liberation that I speak of is supporting people to understand how this wondrous human experience works. And when you understand how life works, it really does free you. You are liberated from your thought created self, your personality, your persona, the mask that you wear. You are liberated from all the limitations that you've placed upon yourself or you feel others have placed upon you. And it's liberation to know what and who you truly are and to live from that space and to really have fun with this human experience. Something happened to me in April 2017 that has enabled me to show up, be visible and share my message. I heard something that I know I will definitely have heard dozens of times before, but for some reason on this occasion, the truth behind what was being said hit me. It hit me like a lightning bolt that shocked my entire system, rearranging every cell in my body. I already felt awake for years of spiritual exploration, or woke as the cool cats say these days. But this insight in April woke me up again. And it took me to a whole new level of consciousness. A new reality that is simply rocking my world. So I'm going to share with you in this recording what I heard and also the further exploration I've been on since April. I can't say you will have the same or similar insight from listening to me right now, but my invitation to you is to hear for yourself the truth beyond the words that I say and to listen to the wisdom inside of you as I tell my story. So I'd like you to listen with nothing on your mind and really get ready to open your heart and drop all stories of old thinking, conditioning and yeah, just be an open vessel and just hear what you hear. And if you're a visual person, see what you see. Okay. <laughs> Let's begin the story of my liberation. Someone asked me, what is it that I really wanted to do? And I said what I really wanted was to be able to have transformational conversations around the globe. Um, and that was it. That's, that, was my, that was my vision. But then my thinking mind would kick in with, well, who's going to pay you for a conversation? It was twenty, the summer of 2016 that I enrolled on a, on a course that really sounded interesting to me. Um, and the money for it just materialised. So it was like, right, OK, I'm doing it. And I was introduced to an understanding called the three principles. And it's simply a description of how life works from a spiritual and psychological perspective. It's not telling you what to do. It's not telling you what not to do. None of that it is simply describing how the human experience works. And the more I looked in the direction of how life works, 
I started to, yeah, just kind of like lighten up and started to recognise the inside out nature of life, that nothing outside of me was doing anything to me. You know, my experience of life was happening from the inside out. And I and I did already know this to be true because you you know um how can two people watch the same movie but have a different experience of it? Or how can two people at work both be told that they're going to be made redundant and one person feel like it's the end of the world and another person feel like it's the start of a brand new adventure. You know, the same, exact same experience happening, but the perception of it being completely different. So it has to come from the inside out. Nobody else can make you feel a certain way. Nothing you're told can make you feel a certain way. You have to produce that feeling from within and you do that via thought you know we're thinking creatures that's what we do we think all the time and this wonderful gift of thought is creating our reality you know it's an amazing it's an amazing energy it's creating everything around us but what we do with that thought is we can turn our life either into heaven or a living hell because it depends on whether you start buying into and believing certain thoughts over others when in actual fact fact all thought is neutral it's not telling you anything about you or the world it's simply thought <laughs> and it's not true it's just it's made up it's made up it's just providing experience and through your consciousness is how you then get to experience you get to recognize it kind of brings that thought thought to life but again you have the choice on whether to believe it, to cling on to it, to make it mean something. It's not asking to be turned into anything. All it's doing is creating this experience of life for you. And you are free just to simply see it, feel it, experience it, moment to moment to moment and all thought is transient it's just constantly flowing and it wants to flow it's only when we hold on to certain thoughts that they then cause any kind of like issue for us if we just let them pass on by like if you imagine that you're the sun and then clouds are your thoughts Well, you could have so many thoughts that the sun looks like it's disappeared. But of course, the sun is is always there. And when the clouds part, dissipate, clearly you can see the sun again. So you, the real you, your true self is always there. But sometimes we we feel like we've disconnected from ourselves because we've just got so much thinking going on blocking blocking us. But we never really disconnect because how can you disconnect from that which you are? You can't. <laughs> you can never be out of alignment. You know that's 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 not true. You can't be. You can't. You cannot not be who and what you are. You always are who and what you are. Sometimes you, it just looks like and feels like you're not. But when you allow yourself to relax and be in this clear state of mind, 
Ah, oh, yes, you remember, there I am. And you're always there, always there. And you can always return to your innate well-being, your innate mental health. Because like I say, you're always there. It's not even a case of returning because it, you, you, you can't leave yourself. It just appears sometimes to look that way. So, where am I in my story? So yes, I did this course learning about the inside out nature of life. Description given by the three principles of mind, thought and consciousness. And then in April 2017, I was listening to a video and I heard Michael Neal, who is a is a coach. Um, he certainly talks about the three principles. That's his um his main main thing that he um he tell he talks with people talks to people about. And it was a video on why self improvement is a waste of time. And now I've been somebody that um was so caught up in self-help books and you know wanting to improve prove myself in order to experience more more joy more happiness um and I thought that's you know that was what you what you did you know personal development you just constantly work on yourself learn tools and techniques and um engage in meditation journaling um EFT NLP, you name it. I've been there, studied it, become a practitioner in it. <laughs> a lot of doing, a lot of doing to improve. And what I heard Michael Neal say was, when you think about it, if our personality, our persona, is not really us, because we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So the real us, the one that's listening to our thinking, the one that is observing everything, the one that knows that our body exists, but because we know our body exists, we are not therefore the body. So, you know, the one that is looking out, on all of this. That is not your personality. Yeah. So our personality is something that is created. It's thought created. And it's added to as we get older and older and older and older. So our parents might say, oh, you're sh so shy or you're so quiet or you're so loud. And then we go to school and teachers say that we want this, that and the other. Our friends tell us things and we take on this persona of who we think we are and who others think we are. But it's made up. And a lot of the self-help books and this kind of world of personal development is focused on improving that thought created self. But how do you improve something that's made up? I mean, it would be an, a never ending task. So it makes more sense to simply rest in your being, in who you really are, rest in that space of expansiveness and to see your humanness as this wondrous human experience that's not designed to be perfect. It's designed to have a personality. It's designed to have this persona. We're designed to have a psyche. We're designed to think. All of that is part of the design. And we can watch it all unfold and have fun with it and play with it. So if you have taken on the persona of being shy 
but you want to go to a party and actually be quite vivacious and, and outspoken, well, play with it. You can. Because you are none of the things, you are none of the labels that you've been given by others or you've given to yourself. They are made up. And when you recognise that your personality, your persona, your psyche is thought created, like I said, it frees you up then to be whatever you want to be with your humanness, to do whatever you want to do as a a human. (laughs) Because the real you is perfect, well, complete, whole. The real you is love. The real you is everything and nothing. You know, you were there before anything else, (laughs) which I know is hard for the intellect to, to grapple with. But we are all one and the same thing. And then through thought, we take on these different forms. So part of us is also all of the trees in the world. Part of us is all of the, is all of the oceans, all of the mountains, all of the birds, all of the, you know, you name it, everything that you can see around you, you are, you are. You're all of it. You're the totality of all of it. And part of you is also in the form, the physical form that you're sitting in now, your physical vehicle. That's an expression of the totality. I'm sat here recording this. And I'm, this is, you know, one form that's part of the totality. We're all the same. We're all the same. We are everything. So there's nothing, there is nothing that you need to improve on in terms of your psyche. Now, I'm not talking about skills development. Of course, you can improve on certain skills so if in playing with your humanness you want to learn a musical instrument well you're not going to be able to pick up a guitar and instantly be able to play it well maybe some people can but you know usually you have to learn to to play an instrument and we're designed to that's another part of our humanness we're designed to learn so i'm not talking about developing skills but what i'm talking about is is There is nothing to improve on when it comes to your humanness. You're fine as you are. You don't need to do anything in order to be happy. You don't need to do anything in order to feel secure. You don't need to do anything in order to have abundance. You are abundance, you are happiness, you are love, you are enough, you are perfect, whole, complete and well. Now that is what I heard (laughs) in this video and it just changed everything for me in an instant, I just got it, I, I was focused on improving a thought created self. I don't need to waste my time improving my humanness. It's perfectly adequate for the job of experiencing life. So now since April what I've been doing is I've been resting in my being And I've been allowing life to live through me and I've been getting out of my own way. I have stopped with the limitations. I have stopped with, 
I can't do this, I can't do that, what will people say, um, how will that look, I've stopped all of that. Because any thought that comes through is transient. It's not real, it's just made up and I don't have to turn it into anything. I can just simply experience life and that's what I've been doing and it's enabled me to set up a Facebook group to run my first ever online course. I've just started a mastermind group with five other wonderful women. I have just started an interview series. I've interviewed three of my coaching peers, so three people who I love reading their blog posts. I find them really useful and inspirational. Um, I've just had interviews with them. I've got more people to interview. So lots of things are happening, even though I'm allowing life to unfold and live through me. I, I mean, this place or space of effortless productivity, it's just mind boggling because I was in 2013, I was investing money to learn how to deliver an online course. I was investing money to learn how to approach people to interview and all of that kind of thing. And I still couldn't do it, could not do it. And now it's just happening effortlessly as I show up. I have the idea and I move and it's just wonderful. So I hope what I've shared has been interesting. If you would like to hear more from me, know a little bit more about this inside out understanding, you're more than welcome to join the Facebook group that I host, which is currently called Tea and Insights. So that's tea as in a cup of tea, T-E-A and insights. That's the closed Facebook group. And yeah, pop in, stay as long as it's useful to you. Have a look at the interviews, have a look at the posts, engage as much as you like. If you would like to speak with me, I'm more than happy to have a complimentary conversation just to, yeah, tell you a little bit more about the three principles and hear, you know, what's going on for you in your life um, and see how this understanding could really support, support you. More than happy to do that. If you simply would like more links to useful webinars and articles then by all means just drop me a message uh, and I'll send I'll send you those as well you can find me on my business page on Facebook which is Sarah J Sanderson so if you send a private message there um, with your request for information about the free principles I, I will um, send something on to you and Finally, I will just say that the, the three principles, like I said, it's a description of the human experience. It's not telling you to do anything. It's not, it's not saying don't do anything. And this simple and clear description came about via a, a man called Sidney Banks, who was a Scottish welder. And he had this enlightenment experience enlightenment experience which then went on to become the three principles it's not saying anything new in terms of you know it's the same message that you will hear from spiritual teachers that have been speaking for hundreds and hundreds of years but what I found is it's the cl clearest simplest way of describing it so now that this understanding has really helped me to see the truth behind what and who I am and how this human experience works, I can now read and listen to other spiritual teachers and know what on earth they're talking about, you know, know from a deep place 
what they're talking about. Whereas before I loved listening to it. I got a lot out of listening to it. I got a lot out of self-help books. But it was all kind of, it wasn't liberating me. It was, it was helpful. I felt a bit better. But what I have now is, I, it's a different state of consciousness. I'm happy to call myself a liberation coach because I am liberated and that is what I'm here to support others with as well. And, you know, this came to me via this simple yet powerful understanding, which is why I'm so happy to share it. So I hope you've enjoyed listening to my story and I do hope that you get in touch. Okay, lots of love. Bye.